Hi all, welcome to my channel Data Wisdom. Today we are going to see how to use reformat component into App Initial and why it is used for. So reformat component is basically available into transform folder into component library. You can directly drag this component to your graph and you can start using it. So first we'll see what are the parameters available into reformat component and how do we configure it. Okay. So basic purpose of reformat is to manipulate your data based on your target system or target file connected to your output. So what reformat does is it modifies your data by applying different functions available into ab initio. It can drop a column, it can add a new column or it can combine two columns based on the business rules provided. Okay. So basic ports available into reformat is one input port, one output port, respective reject and error port and the log port. So we have a parameter called count into reformat component. As soon as we increment the value of this count parameter, number of output ports will get changed. So now as I have incremented the count parameter to two, I have got two output port, two reject port and two error port. So with respect to each output, we'll be having one reject and one error port and respectively one transform parameter where we will be writing our business logic or transform with respect to that output or that output file. Okay. So by default, the value of count parameter will be one. Let's go with the value as one. Then we have one transform parameter where we'll be writing our business logic into ab initio which we call as a transform or xfr then third parameter which is available into reformat component is select parameter here we write the select expression based on which we want to filter our input data so if we want to filter some particular records we'll be writing our select expression into this particular select parameter then we have reject threshold parameter available into our component so here we are having three values about on first reject never about use limit and ram function like into any other component. So if you have not seen my previous video kindly go through it. You will be having a description about these parameters as well. Okay. Now let's try to configure our reformat component. So we'll see we have an input file where we have some customer data present. So I have four columns customer ID, customer name, department ID and salary. Now let's try to build a scenario. So out of this <coughs> customer file, first is I only want the records for which department ID is less than 40. Okay. Second scenario is I want to convert this customer name to uppercase. Okay. And the third rule would be if department ID is 10, I want to increment my salary by 50%. So what do we have to do? We have to filter out department ID 40 record. We have to change these customer names into uppercase. So currently we see few records are into camel case one of the record is already into capital case okay and if department id is 10 then the salary should be incremented by 50 percent now i also want to change my column name so i want to change column name customer id to employee id and customer name to employee Okay, so let's see. So I have already configured my output DML to change the name of these columns. So if you can see, I have employee ID, employee name and salary present into my output DML. Now let's configure our graph. Let's configure reformat component and see how do we write this logic. So first thing first, whenever we are writing code into reformat the very first parameter that will get evaluated is select so that it does not unnecessarily 
process all the records which are coming from our input port okay so my select condition was department id should be less than 40 okay let's validate this condition that is okay now let's write our transform so i do not want a system generated transform and i want to write it into grid mode okay so what was our business rule customer id should be mapped to employee id then this customer name i wanted to change into uppercase right so let's go right click on this field click on edit rule let's go to string function and search which is the function that we can use to change it to uppercase so we have a function name string upcase okay and to this double bracket we'll provide our customer name validate the transform it says okay and map this to employee name now again for salary we have an explicit business rule we have to check if department id is 10 then the salary should be incremented by 50 percent okay so again we can write our if construct into this rule so let's edit the rule we'll check if department id equal to equal to 10 then salary should be salary plus salary multiplied by 0 0.5 that increments by salary by 50 percent else whatever salary is coming from input it should be passed as is so it will only increment our salary for department id 10 let's validate this expression it is okay okay and let's map it to salary now here we are modifying the value of this salary based on some condition we are modifying customer name and changing it to uppercase okay also we are dropping this department id column with the use of my reformat component we are not mapping it to anywhere into my output field okay now let's see validate the transform it says okay click apply and okay so now into my input file i have eight records okay out of which one record will not be selected for my transform and will get dropped that is department id 40 and I should get these seven records into my output file. Let's run this graph. So we have eight input records. We have seven output records. Let's view the data of our output file. So here we are not having record with respect to department ID 40. So we are not having record for Jayesh since this records department ID was 40 which is drop. All the names have been changed to capital letters. If we see department ID 10's data for Ram initial salary was 1000. Now it is incremented by 50% and salary is 1500. Similarly for Akhil salary has been incremented by 50% and it is now 7500. Okay. And the third record was for department ID 10 was 10,000. Now again, the salary has incremented by 50%. Okay. So this way, reformat can be used to modify your input records based on your target DML. Now, into the later version of GD, apart from these parameters available into reformat, we have two more parameters, which are output index and output indexes. We'll see how why do we use that okay so first additional parameter is output index second is output underscore indexes okay now 
what happens is if you increment the count parameter over here okay still we whatever records have been selected same records will be passed to transform 0 as well as transform 1 so suppose if you are connecting one more output file this to this output port the same number of records will be flown to both the files transformations can be different okay since we have two transform parameter we can write different transforms to this output files right but we cannot divide data based on any condition okay so now suppose what i want to do we have input file right where we were having these many number of records now i want to check if department id is 10 that record should go to transform 0 or output file 0 if department id is 20 my record should go to transform 1 if department id is 30 my record should go to transform 2 right so to divide this data we have a parameter called output index so what output index does is based on a condition it redirects our input records to a particular port or transform okay so if i want that my record should be redirected to any particular port based on the satisfaction of a condition i'll be writing code into this output index parameter okay so how do we write it So we'll get a block like this into this parameter here what I want to say is if in dot department id equal to equal to 10 my record should go to port 0 else it should go to port 1 okay so all the records for which department id is 10 it will always go to your transform 0 so from this out 0 you will get only records with respect to department id 10 rest all the records will be flown to this port okay similarly what output indexes does is suppose if you want to redirect a record to multiple ports based on a condition satisfaction okay so into output index what we were doing we were redirecting it to a single port output indexes we can redirect it to multiple ports based on the satisfaction of a condition so here also So here what do we want I want if department ID is 10 okay if in dot department ID is 10 it should go to port 0 and port 1 okay let's assign priorities to this if department id is 20 it should go to 2 and 3 and by default all the records should go to port 4 
okay so what output indexes is doing is it is checking a condition and if this condition is being satisfied it is redirecting my input records to multiple ports so now for department id 10 the records will flow to transform 0 as well as transform 1 if department id is 20 the records same records will flow to transform 2 and transform 3 for rest of all the other records it will flow my data to transform 4 or output port 4 and we can write different transformations into different transform parameters right so this way we can distribute our data based on a condition using output index and output indexes parameter which are available into later version of ab initio gd okay and we can write different kind of business logics for those distributed records and we can populate those records into different output files so for a revision reformat component is used to modify your data by either adding a field dropping a field or modifying data into a particular field which is coming from your input file as per the target source system you can combine two fields over here you can generate your own fields okay thank you